Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, and here today we have Taeyeon's, what is the name, 2X or something? 2X, and I'm assuming it's like 2 your X like ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-partner, whatever, uh, is that what we're referring to? Just because also the, uh, not the thumbnail, but like the album cover, it looks like her and somebody else like almost kissing. It's really cool actually. Um, but yeah, we have the music video and then doo -doo -doo -doo, how many? Five B-sides. Melt Away, Burn It Down, Nightmare, All For Nothing, and Fabulous. Every song is under three minutes, except Melt Away. Well, All For Nothing is just barely three minutes, Um, which just upsets me because, I don't know, most of her songs are usually like thick amount of songs. Even Weekend, her poppiest song, to me, in my opinion, is four minutes long, practically. So, like, I'm, like, I'm scrolling through, and every song of hers is, there's, like, a handful that are, like, 250 or something, but they're all 4 minutes, 3 minutes 57 seconds, 316, 411, 433. So, it kind of just makes me sad that even solo artists like Taeyeon, who are clearly vocal goddesses and ballad queens, and, you know, their songs are also going to be cut just very loose, um... But hey, it doesn't mean it's going to be a bad song. It's just makes me sad. Um, but hey, could still be bops. Probably going to still be bops. So let's have them to the video. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, Miss Taeyeon. Is he the same person in this? Well, I can't tell. I mean, likely the same person. In the uh, album cover. Did she film this with Red Velvet? <laughs> Same creepy vibes. This song is really weird though. To the video. Like the lyrics I can kind of see, but like, it's very bright. That's cool. has like this she lose her memory and he's reminding her narcissist 
song's fine, I guess. It's not my favorite sound from Tan. She's does she's done this sound a few times, and especially B-sides. It's just not like what I prefer from her vocals personally, because I, I feel like it's such a style that like anyone can do. But like I don't think she always needs to do grand, amazing, grandiose songs. Um it just kinda got repetitive, especially towards the end. I feel like the end didn't really I thought I was hoping it might change. Like, like it might but it's just kind of the same thing um like she would have maybe at least made the ending a bit bigger um i don't know I i'm more of like a what are like my favorite title tracks well weekend but that's just a fun song like, like, Weekend doesn't really show off her vocals, but it's it's just a very fun poppy song. This one's like this weird... I don't want to say acoustic, I don't think it's acoustic, but like... Repetitive... I, I don't know. Like, I like I Envy You. Um, Weekend... Is it Spark that I'm thinking of? Spark. Spark's my favorite, I think. Like, I still think to this day, Spark just hits different. Why can't you play right now? Well, screw you. Okay, well, I'm not only play song. You heard Spark. Um, but yeah, it was fine. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's to me, it's just a little boring of a song. I feel like, but it's fine. Like, I'm still listening to it. It's just I don't know. Uh, I'm let's listen to the B sides though, because let's see what they sound like. Okay. Why is it wrong? You have a light of flame by 17. Is she a Latin artist now? <laughs> Does she big man? Ooh. What is this? Who is this? This sounds very much like um, Camila Cabello. It sounds very much like um, Bad Kind of Butterflies. Um, like, um, her romance albums. It almost sounds like that era of Camila. Yeah, like a uh, bad kind of butterflies and is it feel it? No, easy, easy. I might think of easy. I don't know. It won't let me play it, but like I don't know. If you listen to Camila Cabello, she has like a lot. Like if you like this, you'll you'll like her rock. Even if you don't like her, cool. Just, just saying, if you like this and the way she's singing, do like that. This song is made for me specifically. Just saying. She made the song for me. This has to be a fan favorite. I am too in love with this song. Like, this one's gonna be on repeat.
Okay, that song was top tier. She went off. And I hope she never comes back. Like, we need that forever. I don't know what's gonna like beat that song. We already had the best favorite song. Ouch. I don't know if I like the stripped instrumental for the chorus. Okay, okay. I kind of wish half that chorus it built up and was less empty. But like, honey, I get the point of the song. I get why it's done that way. I think I like this more than Tex, but less than Melt Away. So it's like the metal song right now. most of the album is about being angry at- like that's literally the title of the album, right? It's like being angry at tracks. Which is why the, the music video confuses me. She's very much waiting for the sound. And I'm just not a big fan of it enough to where I want it on like all the songs. Like this choppy instrumental like do 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 See like it's even in the chorus or pre-chorus. I think this is the one time where I'm like, if this was English, maybe I like it more. Because it's very much not even about the singing or the instrumental, it's clearly what she's saying. Which works right now. This is the first time I've ever said this in like a lot of K-pop. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I really wish I like. It's very important that I knew Korean for the song. Otherwise, it just comes off very boring. I like its building. I 
Okay. I like this how it goes. This ending's kind of sufficed it a bit. I don't know. This just kind of reminds me of 2X where I'm like, well, I like it. It's not a bad song. I don't, I don't know. Like, oops. I feel like this may not just just may not be like a conceptual album that I, I love from her. The thing going for it are the lyrics, but even the lyrics, I'm like, because I read them, I could just be like, oh, I, I know them for when I listen to it later. But because it's kind of like that thing where it, it's 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 almost like like if you listen to like a Taylor Swift song that's heavily lyrical. You enjoy it a lot because you're like paying attention to the lyrics when you're listening to it because the song's so simple it's just focused on that um kind of like all too well but this if you're not paying attention to the lyrics all too well could be like a very boring song but the, and i feel like this is almost like one it's like this is that for her where i'm like if i and it sucks because i don't know korean i feel like it hit harder later if I listen to it in Korean and like I knew Korean, I could like hear it that way. But I don't know, it kind of just felt a bit, I don't want to say flat because flat seems like there's no effort put into it. I just couldn't really, like I, I feel like it's, well it's not a song you, like it's not going to be a catchy song or anything and I love ballads and stuff and this isn't, see the way I like about ballads is usually I also love the instrumental whether it's piano or whatever, it's usually piano. And I think the piano is very beautiful. It sounds beautiful and nice. And like the harmonies when it's like a group song. Um, but because this one, there wasn't a lot of, until the end, a lot of vocal to listen to. A lot of it was more talky. And then the instrumental was just the same throughout. It, it built up though. And then I went back. So I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. Probably like two X's is at least catchy. But it's fine, she has so many albums, I like her other ones, so if I don't love this album, it's cool. We have Melt Away, she's queen. She looks like the grandma from Turning Red. The rich grandma. <laughs> I love the haunting element of this one. So yeah, I, I, this is more of, I guess, a taste thing. Because I, I think this one's in the realm of Nightmare. 
But I like the instrumental of this one more and the eeriness in her voice. Oh, I love it. it's talking about emptiness and then I just get like really empty here. Okay, that's definitely my second favorite song, for sure. That was beautiful. Me thinking instantly of Sharpay. Dang, Sharpay, who's this you? This song is so weird for this album though. It should be on, like, on a song with Weekend. Dang, damn, why I gotta do that guy? I love her tone and like delivery. Dang! I wish it was faster there. Like, I wish it was like, Darling, I'm a masterpiece of work of art. Hi, my name is Fabulous, your favorite star. I don't know, the pause just, just throws me off. I guess maybe it's supposed to be a trick, but this ain't Halloween, man. <laughs> just let it, just let it flow. It's fine though. Come on, me a kiss. Oh, my name is Fabulous. I hate that. Just take those two seconds out. This is a brat. Okay. Look at him. I respect it. Oh, I, I hate it so much. I just got used to it. Come on, me a kiss. Call my name and I will miss you. I kind of wish they did something different with the last chorus. This has to be choreo to this. This is such a bob. I mean, I want to call it beautiful. It's cool though. <laughs> beautiful is such a weird word. Like, it's very fun, it's very poppy, it's very vibey. Okay, Miss Taeyeon. Okay. We love when a queen knows she's a queen. Um, that's, uh, honestly, that's probably a favorite too. So my favorites are All For Nothing, Fabulous, and Melt Away. The other three songs, I mean, I'll add them to the playlist, but I'm probably not going to listen to them too much. But, uh, yeah. Let me know your favorites down below. I did not know Tam was having a comeback, to be honest. I found out, like, when it popped up on my, um, the home screen of YouTube. <laughs> um, 
but it's fine. Um, there's just a lot going on in the world, you know? There's a lot going on in the K-pop world, specifically, especially when that came out. Um, so we're a little late, but better late than ever. On Patreon, we're doing Hello Baby. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!